Market research is all about filling the gaps in what you know and getting answers to any questions you may have. Ultimately, you want to be in a position to make the best decision you possibly can. So what sort of information are we talking about? There are two main sorts of information. First, there are numbers and statistics. This is known as quantitative research. This is all about finding out things such as the size of the market you're operating in. What is the value of the market? How many items are sold? Or if you're in the business to business market, how many contracts are available to bid for? How many customers are there? How many are likely to buy your product or service? You'll want to know how many businesses are already competing in this market and what market share they each have. You'll also want to know how fast or slow the market is growing. After all, if it's static or declining, you may decide it's not the place to be. Some of this information is available from published reports. There's more about the various sources of this type of information in other sections of this guide. Check it out. Sometimes the published data won't give you enough detailed information. In this case, you may want to conduct your own research using surveys or questionnaires. For example, if your business is designing websites, you may want to conduct a short survey with local businesses to find out how many of them have a website and how often they change the design. If you're going to run an agency for temporary teaching staff, you may want to survey schools in your area to find out how many temporary staff they need and how often they need them. The second sort of information is qualitative research. This is based on attitudes and opinions and is used to find out what your target customers think and feel about your idea or product or service. You can gather qualitative data through in-depth interviews with individuals or by having focus groups with several customers taking part in the discussion. In this case, you're finding out how people feel about different aspects of your product or service. For example, the price or the packaging or the offer. You may want to find out where people would expect to buy and also what their reasons are for choosing one product or supplier over another. Again, there's more about how to do this sort of research in other sections of this guide. You can find out what sort of questions to use and how to structure your research. Both types of research provide valuable information. Ideally, you'll want to use a mix to get a reliable picture of the market. Remember, you're gathering information to help you make a better decision. So keep focused and be realistic.